Okay, so you know how the Lord has been talking about the anointing? Well, my son, he draws pictures at school and brings them home. But this one really stuck out to me because when God revealed my enemies to me, I would go to this park and you know how he showed up to Moses in in the bush, okay, the burning bush that did not catch fire. Okay, well, he did that with these dandelions in in the park, okay? There was a field of dandelions, okay? And, of course, they didn't burn up because that was, you know, the spirit of the Lord. You know when God talks to you through something and his spirit is in it? Okay, well, he did that with that. And there's this special tree, but there's only one of them, okay? There's this special tree there for me okay so this is god okay this is god's glory and then he would talk to me through different kinds of birds at this park so when i see it when i seen this picture i was like oh my god there's two trees here so you know i was thinking okay that's you know confirmation lord the anointing the olive trees right okay that pour out the oil right that's what i thought but then he was like okay no there's more to this message y'all and listen okay listen okay everything all these warnings okay there this happening right now so he was like okay so who are the two olive trees amanda <laughs> And then so I started thinking I was like, oh, the two witnesses. So I went to Revelations chapter 11. Then I was given a measuring stick and I was told go and measure the temple of God and the altar and count the number of worshipers. But do not measure the outer courtyard for it has been turned over to the nations. They will trample the holy city for 42 months and I will give power to my two witnesses. And they will be clothed in burlap and will prophesy during those 1,260 days. Okay, we've been clothed in burlap and giving out these messages. These two prophets are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of all the earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire flashes from their mouths and consumes their enemies this is how anyone who tries to harm them must die okay they have power to shut the sky so that no rain will fall for as long as they prophesy and they have the power to turn the rivers and oceans into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they wish okay and we can do this too we are like the prophets because of the holy spirit when they complete their testimony, the beast that comes out of the bottomless pit will declare war against them and he will conquer them and kill them. And their bodies will lie in the main street of Jerusalem, the city that is figuratively called Sodom in Egypt, the city where their Lord was crucified. And for three and a half days, all peoples, tribes, languages and nations will stare at their bodies. No one will be allowed to to bury them okay and moses and elijah are the two prophets okay and they they were not buried okay you, you know elijah flew up he was taken up into the sky and the all the people who belong to this world will gloat over them and give presents to each other to celebrate the death of the two prophets who had tormented them okay they they were rejoicing in our death okay because they don't know the God that we serve. But after three and a half days, God breathed life into them and they stood up. He said, rise up, rise up, dry bones. OK, we back from the dead because Jesus conquered death for us. OK, he came to get us. And our mouth has been filled with laughter again on that day. OK, remember on that day when the Lord comes. Listen, terror struck all who were staring at them. Then a loud voice from heaven called to the two, two prophets come up here and they rose 
Then they rose to heaven in a cloud as their enemies watched. Okay, God has exalted our horn, okay, our horn, and we are going to meet him in the clouds, okay, with our heads lifted up high over our enemies. The earth is our footstool. We are in the glory. At the same time, there was a terrible earthquake that destroyed that destroyed a tenth of the city. Seven thousand people died in that earthquake and everyone else was terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. OK, so some people are, you know, are going to pass away. OK, but some people are going to get scared straight and give glory to the God of heaven. The second terror is past, but look, the third terror is coming quickly. Okay, the third woe is here. Okay, Revelation 11, 1 through 14. So shout, okay, for the Lord has given you the city. Rejoice. And um, remember the walls of Jericho? Okay, they were instructed to go around the walls, okay, blowing the trumpets for six days not saying anything and then when they blew the seventh trumpet they said he the priest told them to shout okay shout for the lord has okay hold on i got that right joshua 6 16 the seventh time around is the priest sounded the long blast of their horns joshua commanded the people shout for the lord has given you the town so back to Revelation 11. So remember the, the third woe is coming quickly. The seventh trumpet brings the third woe. Okay. That said, we blew the seventh trumpet. Okay. Joshua blew the seventh trumpet. And now we're shouting. We're shouting because the Lord has come to save us and he has exalted us. Okay, so the seventh trumpet brings the third woe. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices shouting in heaven. The world has now become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. The 24 elders sitting on their thrones before God fell with their faces to the ground and worshipped him. And they said, we give thanks to you, Lord God. The Almighty, the one who is and who always was, for now you have assumed your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were filled with wrath, but now the time of your wrath, your wrath has come, okay? The nations were filled with wrath, but now the time of your wrath has come, okay? They unleashed their wrath upon us, okay? Now God is like, okay, that's how you want to do, my children? Okay, okay. It is time to judge the dead and reward your servants, the prophets, as well as your holy people and all who fear your name from the least to the greatest. It is time to destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. Then in heaven, the temple of God was opened and the ark of his covenant could be seen inside the temple. Lightning flashed, thunder crashed. Okay, listen, remember lightning, then the thunder, okay? Uh, thunder crash and roared and there was an earthquake and a terrible hailstorm revelation eleven fifteen through 19 so pray that they don't die in their sin okay because the harvest is great but the workers are few you know and you shouldn't you know if they're if they're living in sin they're gonna go to hell Okay, straight like that. And we should not want that for anyone. Okay, you know, like our our minds cannot even comprehend the level of pain and torment down there. Okay, so, you know, don't hope that, you know, your enemies die in this judgment. Okay, this third woe. Pray that the Lord wakes them up. Okay. That they get sugar up, okay, and they wake up from uh, 
that dream that they're in, okay, that illusion that they're in, and then they will give glory to the Lord, okay, they will praise the Lord, and we'll have more workers, okay, spreading the gospel, saving more souls, okay, so yeah, that's that's what happening, okay, the third woe, the third row and you know shout to the lord for the city is yours jerusalem okay we made it god rescued us okay we do not think anything or anyone we thank the lord our god because he is the one who rescues us okay god is our salvation so pray for these people okay pray for these people pray for them okay the third woe the third woe is here, y'all. The third woe is here. Pray for him. Love y'all. Good night.